नमस्कार आई एम अश्विन कुमार हियर वेलकम टू वन मोर सेशन ऑन रूरल मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑन रूरल टूरिज्म टुडे दिस सेशन इट विल बी अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड ई वीसा व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वीसा इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ ट्रैवलर टू कम इनटू इंडिया एंड व्हाट आर द अदर फॉर्मेलिटीज लेट अस गो थ्रू दिस एज मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर अवेयर अ वीसा इज रिक्वायर्ड टू कम इनटू इंडिया सो इवन फॉर एनआरआईज आल्सो so let us see what is a e visa application process the moment you click on the particular website this e visa application you know this particular site this will be visible here in the advisory clearly the government of india makes no provision or charging of any emergency fees or additional fees for grant of emergency or express e visa those traveling to india are also advised to go through the instructions available on the website of bureau of immigration the boi.gov.in E visa is admissible in which categories? What are the categories? One, E tourist visa. Second one, E business visa. Third one, E conference visa. E medical visa. Fifth one is E medical attendant visa. Sixth one is E emergency other miscellaneous visa. Generally, what about the E tourist visa? It is given for one month E tourist visa for a group tourist for October fifteen twenty twenty one. Just for example, for an individual tourist from November fifteen twenty twenty one. what is the duration the duration is for 30 days and the entry is double entry non extendable uh, extendable and non convertible the second category is one year e tourist visa duration is for one year 365 days from the date of grant and, and especially of eta earliest tourist arrival expected tourist arrival and entry is multiple entries then the third category is five years e tourist visa that is for five Five years from the date of grant of the ETA entries, multiple entries you can have. Stay, continuous stay during each visit shall not exceed not more than ninety days. Maximum number three months, not more than that. For countries except USA, UK, Canada, and Japan. For USA, UK, Canada, and Japan, continuous stay during each visit shall not exceed not more than one eighty days, six months. For other than U UK, USA, Canada, and Japan, they have to stay only for ninety days. But citizens who are coming from USA, UK, Canada, and Japan can stay maximum six months. That is one hundred and eighty days. E tourist visa, one month E tourist visa for a group tourist. As I said, fifteenth October to individual tourist to November twenty twenty one. One month thirty days. It is double entry, non extendable. You cannot extend the visa, and it cannot be converted. One year E tourist visa is duration for three sixty five days. and multiple entries you can come multiple number of times within the 6 months a period i told you then the 5 years e tourist visa for the date of grant of multiple again continuous stay during visit shall not exceed 90 days for countries except usa uk japan for usa uk canada and japan it is for 180 days so always remember this standing norm any of your foreign tourists was coming please check from which country they have come how many days they are going to stay maybe they have visited other places in india and then coming to your place so when they are having a rural home stay or everything please check their documents always have a proof one photocopy set of their documents with you to be on the safer side for in anything and always document everything and always put a maintain a diary if they are coming and staying in your village and staying in your rural home stay also please make sure that you maintain a diary today so and so mr and mrs john have come here from so and so you know place maybe they have come from united kingdom they have stayed here today we have taken them around the village today, today they have we have taken them around for the you know uh, tribal festival here close by today they participated in the rural sports festival so all these things combination document and today they are leaving nice pictures and photograph and documentary record diary always maintain that diary at rural home stay places very important Because tomorrow, in case let's hope uh, something good is there, well and good, no problem. In case something to do with legal issues or something to do with the uh, uh, police department or you know Ministry of uh, Immigration and others also, at least this will be a proof of your stay or of their stay in your place. Okay. Now, e-business visa important. This business visa is given for one year, three sixty-five days from the E T T A. Multiple entries can be done. Continuous stay during each visit shall not exceed. You cannot stay on a business visa for not more than one eighty days. If the intention is to stay for more than hundred and eighty days, they shall get registered at F R R O F R O, concerned within two weeks after the expiry of one eighty days. This go one week before the expiry. Then E conference visa. This visa is basically given for thirty days from the date of arrival into India. so this is only given for a certain set of conference and that conference who is the host who is the, who's the person who is calling you the con the conference brochure registration all the details regarding the conference should be submitted there in this particular uh, conference also with the mha.gov.in that is ministry of home affairs 
next e medical visa this visa, medical visa is given for 60 days from the date of arrival in into india entry is triple what is here the, if the applicant is unable to complete his e visa application form he may save the application or may return to complete the application form by clicking on the top of the bottom page and here e medical attendant somebody a patient cannot come all by himself or herself they need an attendant so e medical attendant visa is also given that is also given from 60 days from the date of arrival into india after your e visa applications is submitted the same shall be scrutinized and if any document or image is not appropriate you may be advised on your given email to re-upload the same to re-upload the tab button at the bottom of the page applicant should normally receive this mail within 24 hours what are the important useful web links Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of External Affairs, Ministry of Tourism, Bureau of Immigration and Incredible India. All these sites are very, very important whenever you are taking any visa application forms. Please read the guidelines, what the uh, central government of India has given. And please also read the guidelines of the respective state which you are visiting also. Now, this starts the questions. Who is eligible for e-visa services? The following are the eligibility conditions for availing the e-visa services. Nationals of countries listed on the e-visa website, indianvisaonline.gov.in e-visa are eligible to apply for e-visa. Foreigners whose sole objective for visiting India is recreation and sightseeing. Casual visit to meet friends and relatives. Third category, attending a short term yoga program or short term courses on local language, music, dance, arts, crafts, cooking, medicine and which should not be uh, which should not be a formal or structured course or a program courses not exceeding exceeding more than 6 months duration and not issuing a quality qualifying certificate diploma to the participants so whenever you are visiting india make sure that they have their particular institution you are coming for to get a diploma or anything should be giving a quali qualification certificate and this uh, all these things should, you know it's only for 6 months duration so 30 180 days Voluntary work of short duration for maximum period of one month which does not involve any monetary payment or consideration of any kind in return. Then medical treatment including treatment under Indian systems of medicine. As an attendant to e-medical visa holder. Business purposes attending a conference seminar or workshop. Just now we have told it is about e-conference visa. Number Point number 3. Passport should have at least 6 months validity at the time of making an application for grant of visa and a re-entry permit. If that is required under the law of the country of nationality of the applicant, the passport should have at least two blank pages for stamping by the immigration officer. Next, the foreigner should have a return ticket or onward journey ticket with sufficient money to spend during his or her stay in India. Very important. And most important, the health insurance also. Kindly do not neglect the insurance. All the foreign nationals who are coming into India, please make sure your Indian partner, the insurance partner is available to you for any emergency purposes. Very important point coming next, please pay attention. Foreigners of Pakistani origin or having Pakistani passport are not eligible for e-visa. Foreigners who are not Pakistani national but whose parents or grandparents either paternal or maternal was born in or was permanently resident in Pakistan are also not eligible for e-visa. They may apply for regular visa at the Indian consulate, Indian mission. So, I repeat again, foreigners of Pakistani origin or having Pakistani passport are not eligible for e-visa. Foreigners who are not Pakistani nationals, they may not be Pakistani national, but whose parents or grandparents, either paternal or maternal, or were born or permanent residents of Pakistan are not eligible for e-visa. Take this very clear. Do not encourage Pakistanis into India. They may apply for a regular visa at the Indian mission. Next one, not available to diplomatic and official passport holders or laissez passer international travel document holders. Not available, e-visa is not available to individuals endorsed on parents, spouses, passport and each individual should have a separate passport, not just the parents passport. What is the procedure for applying for e-visa? Simple, go to the website indiavisaonline.gov.in slash e-visa and apply. Just follow the instructions systematically. First, go through the website, go through the manual, understand what are the documents, keep the documents ready, keep it ready in, inside your laptop or in, in your computer system. Just go through a trial process, then you start the process. Is there any other website apart from the government website to apply for the e-visa application? That is the question. No. HTTPS India visa online dot in gov dot in that 
e visa is the only official website to apply for the e visa services most important thing in http it should have s do not apply where there is http it is not sec secured make sure there is http s do not share your personal information with any unauthorized website as it may lead to leakage of your personal data or, or, or only visit the official website that is https india visa online dot gov dot in slash e visa slash for e visa service for any clarification you may write it to india dot hyphen e visa at gov dot in or contact on the number given 9111243006 is there any uh, other fee other than the processing fee no there is no fee other than the processing fee for the e visa application and it is non refundable please visit our website to know the fee applicable of for your country as it is country specific each country will have its own specific fees when should i apply for e tourist visa one year or for slash five years e business visa e medical e medical attendant e conference visa applicants of the eligible countries and territories may apply online minimum four days in advance from the date of arrival such application can be made 120 days in advance from the proposed date of travel ideally take the visa at least before two months before your start of your trip for e tourist visa 30 days applicants of the eligible countries and territories may apply online minimum four days just because if you are coming to the conference yeah one week before is ideal they, although they are saying four days i would suggest best thing is one week before from the date of arrival such application can be made 30 days in advance from the proposed date of travel next question do i get a confirmation of submission of my e visa application yes immediately after you submit your e visa application and make the payment you will receive a confirmation of submission of your application on the email id provided by you while filling up your application form make sure you are filling up the genuine email id of yours which you regularly use when will my e visa be issued and how will i be informed about it your e visa application may take 72 hours maximum within 3 days or more for processing you will be intimated about your visa status granted or rejected on your email id provided by you in the e visa application kindly discount the holidays and the we are saying when you are saying 72 hours 3 working days maximum 4 working days so please keep in mind the different holidays the state uh, the central government of india issues can i check the status of my e visa application yes you may check the status of your e visa application by visiting the website same website and clicking on check your visa status on the tab provided let's go to the next point next question what is the validity of e visa the validity of e visa would be according to the e visa service you have requested for for e tourist one year or 5 years the validity would be 365 days or 5 years for e tourist visa 30 days the validity would be 30 days from the date of your first arrival in india double entries will be granted which i have explained to you for e business visa the validity would be 365 days from the date of grant of eta with multiple entries and continuous stay during each visit each visit shall not exceed more than 180 days and no registration would be required if the stay is period of less than 180 days However, if the intention is to stay for more than 180 days, the foreigner shall get himself or herself registered with the FRRO or FRO concerned at the Indian FRRO.gov.in. Very important website for all the foreigners. If you are intending to stay for more than 180 days, kindly go to the website here and register yourself. Within two weeks after the expiry of 180 days for his or her arrival in India. For e-conference visa, the validity would be 30 days from the date of arrival in India with single entry. For e-medical visa, the validity would be 60 days from the date of arrival in India and a triple entry will be allowed with the e-visa validity period stamped on your passport. For e-medical attendant visa, the validity would be 60 days from the date of arrival in the India and triple entry will be allowed on the e-visa validity period stamped. Can I convert my e-visa into another visa? No. E-visa is not extendable, non-convertible. E-visa is not extendable and non-convertible. I have repeated it. Can I change the port of arrival and departure? You may arrive at 29 designated airports that is Ahmedabad, Amritsar, Bagdogra, Bengaluru, Bhubaneswar, Calicut, Chennai, Chandigarh, Kochi, Coimbatore, Delhi, Gaya, Goa, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Kannur, Kolkata, Lucknow, Madurai, Mangalore, Mumbai, Nagpur, Port Blair, Pune, Tiruchirappalli, Tiruvananthapuram, Varanasi, 
Vishakapatnam and five designated seaports that is Kochi, Goa, Mangalore, Chennai and Mumbai seaports and you may depart from the Indian Immigration Check Post ICPS. I have not received any intimation even after 72 hours of submission of my e-visa application. What should I do now? Valid question. Your e-visa application may take up to 72 hours for processing. For more enquiries on your e-visa application, you can contact us on the number 9111243006 or email at indianevisa at gov dot in. The applicants are advised to beware of unscrupulous elements, travel agents and intermediaries in this regard. Do not talk to any brokers, travel brokers or anybody. Directly get in touch with the website and the concerned official. In cases where applicants have been asked for correct details or additional information where application is incomplete, the same must be sent immediately. If such information is not provided within 72 hours, the application is li liable to be rejected. You have to apply again. Next, I am applying e-visa for myself and my son and daughter who is a minor. Do I need to apply for a separate e-visa uh, for my minor child? Yes. Ensure that your child's passport is valid for at least next 6 months from the date of arrival in India. The next important question. I have submitted my e-visa application and paid the processing fee. If I cancel my proposed visit to India, will the fees be refunded? E-visa processing fee once submitted is non-refundable. It is non-refundable, my dear friends. As the fee is for processing the application, it is not dependent on either grant or rejection of electronic travel authorization. So, ETA, electronic travel authorization. Do I have time? Do I have to pay anything else at the airport for e-visa other than processing fee paid by me online? No. You have already paid the required processing fee online. The applicants are advised to be beware of the unscrupulous elements, travel agents, intermediaries demanding extra payment. No extra payment to anyone at any airport, any seaport, any uh, rail port also, railways also. I want to submit my liquor permit application along with my e-visa application. How can I do this? This pertains to customs department. Take the permission from the customs department. What should I do if the payments is not accepted by the e-visa website? Make sure you delete the browser history and the cookies before trying to make payment. Also try to change the browser if the problem persists. In case you already tried more than thrice, then you may have to resubmit the entire application form once again. The, what is the payment support helpline? Access Bank Technical Committee, the entire information of Access Bank is there, toll free numbers is there for USA, UK, Singapore, Canada, Australia, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Bahrain. For the rest of the countries, all the concerned number is there. State Bank of India e-payment support also gives you 24 into 7 support. Okay. Next question. How can I get the invoice and receipt for the e-visa -pay e payment? Please visit the website, same website and click on verify payment. You click on website, you get the entire document that you have paid. Please take the print out of that. What are the necessary documents required to apply for an e-business visa other than the passport? You have to upload the business card along with the details of Indian firm or company which you intend to associate yourself with for business activities. For sports related activities under e-business visa, please refer instructions for applicant page or the list of documents required especially for the sports people who are coming to attend the IPL events and other sporting events. What is business card? Business card means a card provided to you by the company you are working for or you can also upload an invitation letter from the company in India including company's information, address and phone number in India. Very important. What are the necessary documents required for e-medical visa other than passport? A copy of letter from the hospital concerned in India on its letterhead which includes the tentative date of admission and treatment in the hospital mentioning the name, nationality and passport of the patient e-medical visa applicant. Very important, this should come from the hospital, the letter head and signed and stamped by the concerned head of the hospital. What are the necessary documents required for e-conference visa other than the passport? For e-conference visa, the following are the required documents, invitation from the organizer, mandatory, political clearance from the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, again that is mandatory, even clearance from Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, that is optional, but technically speaking, this is also mandatory. Be prepared for it being mandatory. I got a new passport, but my ETA was on old passport and it is still valid. How can I proceed now? You may be allowed entry into India on the new passport even if ETA has been issued on the old passport with the condition that you must carry the new passport as well as the old passport on which ETA was issued. Can I enter India using land border even if I am uh, having valid e-visa for any other airport or seaport which is not listed on the e-visa? E no. You can only enter the designated airports and seaports which are listed on e-visa website. No other place you can enter. 
how can I fill previous visa details inside the e-visa application forms? You have to put the previous visa details in the application form as it is mandatory. You can write NA or not applicable or not applicable or any other suitable phrase according to you in the application form if you do not remember your earlier visa number or details. Next question, can I get visa on arrival at Indian airports and seaport? The visa on arrival facility is only for nationals of Japan, South Korea and UAE. Only for such UAE nationals who had earlier obtained e-visa or regular paper visa for India. For the nationals of all other countries eligible for e-visa, the e-visa application have to be filled online and the application, uh, the application, the applicant must wait till the confirmation and grant of ETA, ETA for travelling to India. Can I get a refund for the rejected e-visa application? E-visa processing fee once submitted is non-refundable, I told you previously. As the fee is for processing of the application is not dependent either for grant or rejection of the application. Can I use e-visa to enter India by cruise ship? Entry by cruise ship is allowed with the ETA through five designated seaports. What are they? Namely Mumbai, Chennai, Co Kochi, Goa and Mangalore seaports. What is visible identification mark? Visible identification mark generally means malls, birthmarks, permanent scars, etc. which are visible can be shown if asked by for the Indian Immigration Authority. Who have to carry the yellow fever vaccination card? All the foreigners arrival, arriving in India within 6 days of departure from any yellow fever endemic country are required to possess the, in original a valid yellow fever certificate of vaccination. List of yellow fever vaccination countries is given below here. Even for the uh, pan COVID pandemic also the RT-PCR test is also being made mandatory. If in case you have got your test done, kindly come with the concerned document there to submit it at the Indian Immigration Authorities. Let us go to the next one. We got the ETA, but we have discrepancy in the name of nationality, passport and date of birth in the ETA. The applicant must check all the details including name, nationality, passport number, date of birth, photograph, self image, etc. before final submission of e-visa. Please check it twice or thrice. Again, if it gets delayed or anything, do not blame the authorities. Before you hit the submit button, please check it twice or thrice. See that the, somebody else also check, validate your entire application. The applicant would be responsible for any discrepancy irrespective of grant or rejection of e-visa application. However, if the discrepancy found on ETA, e-visa support center may be contacted by the same website, same number and for anything at least 24 hours before the journey date. Is the e-visa facility allowed for employment visa? E-visa is not allowed for employment, you may apply for a regular visa. Is the e-visa allowed for non-governmental activities and journalism purposes? Very important, kindly do not misuse all the people who are coming from abroad to into India, you know posing as a proxy NGOs or proxy journalists. E-visa is not allowed for NGO activities and journalism purposes. However, voluntary work of short duration for a maximum period of one month which do not involve any monetary payment or consideration of any kind in return are allowed. Yes, very, very important for the foreign NGOs to understand. How many attendants can come with a patient? Only two e-medical attendant visas will be granted against one e-medical visa for the patient. Now, what are the authorized immigration check posts, the entry points, airports which I have told you already for your benefit, I will be reading it to you again. Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Tiruvananthapuram, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Kochi, Goa, Ahmedabad, Amritsar, Gaya, Jaipur, Lucknow, Trichy, Varanasi, Calicut, Mangalore, Pune, Nagpur, Coimbatore, Bagdogra, Guwahati, Chandigarh, Vishakhapatnam, Madurai, Bhuneshwar, Port Blair and Kannur. What are the seaports which are there? Mumbai, Cochin, Marmagoa, that is Goa, Chennai and New Mangalore. Exit points for the airports, the same, the exit points will remain the same. We are saying Ahmedabad, Amritsar, Bagdogra, Bengaluru, Bhuvaneshwar, Calicut, Chandigarh, Chennai, Kochi, Coimbatore, Delhi, Gaya, Goa, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, Kannur, Kolkata, Lucknow, Madurai, Mangalore, Mumbai, Nagpur, Nagpur is included here, Patna, Port Blair, Pune, Srinagar is also included, Surat is also included, Tiruchirappalli that is Trichy, Tirupati is also there, Tiruvananthapuram, Varanasi, Vijayawada also is there and Vishakhapatnam. These are the places where you can exit from the country. The land ICPs, what are the land ICPs? Uh, the first one is Atari Road, Punjab, Akhaura, Banbasa, Changarabhanda, Dalu, Dauki, Dhaligat, Gauripanta, Gojadanga, Haridaspur, Hili, Jaigaon, Jogbani, Kalashahar, Karimgang, Khowal, Lalo Khobogat, Mahidipur, Ankachar, More, Mohri Ghat, Radhikapur, Ragna, 
रानीगंज रक्जौल रुपैदा साबरूम सनौली सीमानपुर सुत्राकंडी फूलबारी कवर्चीपूचिया जोरीनपुरी जोक्तावर द सी पोर्ट्स अलांग बीडी बंडर भावनगर कैलिकट चेन्नई कोचीन कड़लूर काकीनाड़ा कांडला कोलकाता मांडवी मर्मगोवा हार्बर मुंबई सी पोर्ट नागपट्टन नवाशेव पारदीप पोरबंदर पोर्ट प्लेयर ट्यूटिकोरीन विशाखपन न्यू मैंगलूर विजयनगर अगाती एंड मिनिकॉय ऐलैंड लक्षद्वीप वलपड़ मुंद्रा कृष्णपट धूब्री पंडु नगा करीमगंज एंड कटपुली कटुपाली देन रेल ईसीपी मुनाबाव रेल चेक पोस्ट अटारी रेल चेक पोस्ट गेडे रेल एंड रोड चेक पोस्ट हरिदासपुर रेल चेक पोस्ट एंड चितपुर रेल चेक पोस्ट दीस आर द प्लेस वेर द लैंड ईसीपी सी पोर्ट्स एंड रेल ईसीपी आर् प्रिवलेंट सो वाट आर द एलजिबिलिटी फॉर द इंटरनेशनल ट्रावलर्स आलरे वी हव टोल यू इफ यू आर अ नेशनल ऑफ एनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री यू आर एलजिबल फॉर द वीसा आल द डीटेल हव बी मेन्शन हियर वेरी क्लियरली The applicant's passport should have at least six months validity. International travellers should have a return ticket for onward journey. International travellers having Pakistani passport, uh, Pakistani origin, not applicable. They should go to Indian mission, not on E visa. Not available to diplomatic or uh, pa official passport holders. Not available to individuals endorsed on parent or spouse passport. And this thing not available to international travel document holders other than the passport. then all these countries where it is located which i have mentioned here these are all the countries which are there but the ideal one country which it, india doesn't encourage is pakistan and pakistan people have applied at a regular indian mission so with this we come to end of this very important session on e visa please share this video with all the people especially if your relatives or somebody is staying abroad e visa is very very important and especially if you are conducting any conferences any seminars e visa is very very mandatory here let me share one more point here uh, as far as when you are traveling to the northeastern part of india you should have inner line permit system with the concerned university or the concerned conference organizer also so please make sure that you have all the documents along with the inner line permit system with this we end this session thank you hope you enjoyed this session thank you very much jai hind